Well, here comes the long arm of the law. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing in at 350 pounds, the big boss man. It's not going to be a long night because the boss man will not waste any time unloading his heavy artillery. From Cobb County to the WWE Hall of Fame, he's as mean and nasty as they come. Yeah, the big boss man began his shift in the 80s, laid down the law during the Attitude Era, and now ready to enforce the law on a whole new generation. Here comes Dusty Rhodes. The WWE Universe is on their feet for the American Dream. And his opponent from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. There is only one American Dream. The big man from Cobb County, Georgia. Big boss man looking to enact his unique brand of justice here. Unique? At times, big boss man has been outright sadistic in his attacks in the ring and out. Remember that time boss man took Pepper and... Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think we need to go down that road. I'm sure big boss man will show us his mean streak here tonight. And then we've got Dusty Rhodes, a one-of-a-kind superstar who's inspired generations of WWE fans and competitors alike. He's a generous teacher with an incredible mind for this business. Yeah, Dusty Rhodes has learned every lesson there is to be learned in the ring and on the road. He's got a whole library's worth of wrestling wisdom in his head. And Boss Man evades that. Big Boss Man takes on every opponent with such malicious intent. It's got to be hard to overcome those odds when Big Boss Man is aiming for you. It's definitely not easy, but it's not impossible. Sometimes that rage will backfire on him. Big Boss Man's like a bull seeing red, Cole. His opponent just has to be the matador. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. Only getting one out of that pen. Likely just trying to sap out some energy with that cover. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ah, uh, Dusty got caught with a reversal. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. I'm backbreaker. He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up now. What's it going to take? He's far from finished. Boom, right across the small of the back. He moved, but can he capitalize? Shoulder tackle. Working their opponent's jaw like a speed bag. Boom, two fists to the jaw. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Into the corner. This can't be good. What a punch. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, saw it coming. Moves outside. What's the plan here? And he slides him back to the mat. Dusty throwing caution to the blast off. Off the top. Duck, here's the cover. Oh, he kicked out. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Shot to the chest. 
Oh! And Boss Man is being taken apart here. It looks like Boss Man's rage is backfiring thus far, and his opponent's on the attack. He's headed to the pay window, Michael. Does he have him here? Oh, my God! This started as a match. Now it's a test of will. Ooh. Boss Man moves out of the way. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Boss man slam. What impact. Wow. Feeling like it's over for Rhodes. Oh, kicks out. Kicks out. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Cement. Maybe that will shut him up. He's back into the ring. Lining the boss man up. <laughs> bionic elbow. Look at the American Dream go. For the series of bionic elbows. Rhodes has a look at lights. Oh, he was almost finished. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. I think we are witnessing a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. This maniac's out of control. Pressing offense from Rhodes. Yeah, Boss Man's on the wrong side of every exchange. An attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. One, two, three, Dusty gets the win. And here's another look at what made that match so special. The American Dream stands in victory. Big Boss Man couldn't get control in this one. His justice will have to be served another day. Ravishing Rick Rude has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Weighing in at 240 pounds. Ravishing Rick Rude. Maybe one of the most arrogant superstars we've ever seen. Ravishing Rick Rude certainly backs it up in the ring. Yeah, for as much as you want to hate him when he opens his mouth, his work in the ring is something to behold. A man who will plant you with a rude awakening and then steal your girlfriend before you regain consciousness. Huh, he's never coming around my girlfriend. You gotta get one of those first, Saxton. A true pioneer!
When a superstar enters the ring to go up against the likes of Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat, they're entering battle against one of the most decorated and revered competitors ever. This match has everyone backstage buzzing. He is an exciting competitor to watch. A real man is in our presence, people. Take note, all you ugly sweat hogs. Isn't he just ravishing? If Corey's finished, Rick Rude ready to compete tonight. A gifted technician in the ring and one of the most impressive physical... That might be it! No, he kicks out. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, man. That catches Rick looking. Oh, what a hip toss. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Oh, my God. Look at this strength. Look at this power slam. Into the pin attempt. Two. Just kicks out. The end was in sight. Rude's caught. Double underhook suplex. Rick dodges out of that. Ah, uh, ducked underneath. Instead, what a German suplex. Great reversal. Elbow drop. Piercing. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? He has no business down there. Oh, that opens the door for Rick. Oh, that can rock you. Boom! Knee finds the abdomen. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah, that's a sample of why Rude is ravishing. Leaving himself open here. We're about to see something highly devastating, gentlemen. This is bad. Superplex! That move wasn't originally intended for the top rope, but that's what we just saw. Able to reverse that one. Oh, here it comes. Oh, man. Spiked him. Steamboat isn't looking good as he stirs back up. Rick Rude going for it. There's a rude awakening. Steamboat's in serious danger. Makes the cover. Oh, shoulder up before three. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. It must be demoralizing knowing you unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Escape just in time. Rolled up from behind, looking to end it here. He got him. Sneaky pinfall win. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Ravishy Rick Rude. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times. The following contest is scheduled for one four. 
The Million Dollar Championship! The Hall of Famer, George the Animal Steel. Steel's not unorthodox, he's a danger to society. The animal is one of the most unique and beloved competitors in WWE history. You never know what will happen when he competes. Here we go. Look at this guy. How is this a sanctioned match? Does he know the rules? Can he even read them? Just admit it. Every one of us has a price. Oh, it is a championship made by the Million Dollar Man. A pure gold and diamonds of the highest quality made and fashioned by the finest jeweler in the entire world, according to Ted DiBiase. Why would you doubt Mr. DiBiase, Saxton? Not doubting him, just telling you what he said. The Million Dollar Man is used to getting his way, and those who oppose him will pay dearly. Yeah, DiBiase just doesn't want to win. He wants to bankrupt his opponents. Introducing the challenger from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, George the Animal Steel! And his opponent from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted. Perhaps the most expensive championship ever created. I cannot get over the fact that I'm in the presence of the Million Dollar Championship. Do you know the amount of security detail that comes with that title's travel arrangements? It's a small army. Well, then the challenger must be feeling lucky that he only has to get through the champ to own the title. Well, I mean, only one man truly owns the Million Dollar Belt, Byron, and we know who that is. Anyone else just has it on the loan. How a shot! Truly impressive kick out this late. Obviously, the Million Dollar Man can't buy his way to victory tonight. So what else can he do to get himself the win? The Million Dollar Man is more than just a big bank account. He's also got a technical arsenal that is unmatched. DiBiase needs to put all those impressive maneuvers and attacks to work tonight. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Measured up nicely. Fist drop! And George took a well-placed hit there. Just a priceless attack from the Million Dollar Man. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. Scoop slam. 
Setting up in the middle. Here it comes. Elbow drop. And DiBiase putting his money where his mouth is. And he has a whole lot of money. Oh, what a right hook. He moves just in time. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Oh my God, the old face scrub. That's just disrespectful. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And come on, no. Don't bring the trash can out. That's for cleaning. Well, Saxton, it's about from the top. Oh, misses the mark. Oh, God. into the skin. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Oh, new champ! Defiant kick out from the champion! Close call. That was almost lights out. Like a brick wall running into you. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. We're going to end things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. He is determined not to lose this match right now. Dominating shoulder tackle. Stomp in the leg. And DiBiase is being controlled here. Yeah, Steele just can't be stopped now. Arm ringer. Able to fight out with a punch in the face. Oh, what a right hook. George beats him to the punch. With the Lariat. He has him right where he wants him. Say goodnight. Oh, the million. The million dollar man keeps his championship. And that title might just have a permanent home. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Here is your winner. And still, the Million Dollar Champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. And he has to be satisfied with himself defending the championship like he did. What a title defense by the champion. Yeah, he left it all in the ring tonight with the type of performance that's defined his title reign. Dreading this all day. Here comes Doink. The following is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 245 pounds. Doink the Clown. I mean, I, I usually love clowns, but Doink the Clown completely changed my opinion. Doink has struck fear into the hearts of the WWE Universe for many, many sleepless nights. I think Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Saxton, Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent.
Well, this man is the self-proclaimed greatest wrestler on God's green earth. And his opponents, first representing the Knights of the Round Table from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 253 pounds, the King of Wrestling, Harley Race. Harley Race, one of the most decorated champions in wrestling history, and now the King of WWE. Race is an eight-time world champion. At one time, he held the record for the most world title reigns. Harley has truly earned that glorious crown. Yeah, tremendous skill in bare-knuckle fighting, well-versed in submissions and grappling. Harley Race is a true renaissance man. One of the greatest superstars in United Kingdom history. And from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. He's got a body as strong and as formidable as the castles of his home country. Unmatched power, incredible physique. The Bulldog has crafted himself into an intimidating opponent. The British Bulldog has had such an incredible WWE career, and he's been revered all over the world. The entire locker room about to feel the bite of the Bulldog. Elimination rules in effect gain a fall on your opposition to shrink the field down until you're the last one standing. In this one, it's going to be Doink the Clown, Harley Race, and the British Bulldog. And this is going to be a physically grueling match. Just hoping you have enough to outlast the rest of the competition. He's one step ahead there. And Davy Boy reverses. To the nose. Big chop block. That'll stop you in your tracks. And Race gets stonewalled. Way up high. All the way down with an atomic drop. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh oh. Elbow drop. Corey, would you agree that triple threat matches can lead to unexpected alliances? Oh, absolutely. Triple threats create circumstances that lead to interesting bedfellows, allies out of necessity. Eliminating the strongest entity so you can go one-on-one -on -one is a common game plan. No, a kick out. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Double arm lock. The uh, double arm lock suck. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. Is it enough? He forces a break before the count of two. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Just turn that around. Up and oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. There he goes, right in the corner. Fish 
vicious right forearm. And Bulldog's bite got slightly defanged by that attack. Yeah, clearly that sadistic streak of Doink's coming out there. Boom! What a right! Time maneuver there. Vicious knee. That was a big hit, and Bulldog is starting to wear a crimson mask. And Bulldog saw it coming. Big forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Wow, what impact. Ooh. He must have seen that coming. Savage knee to the face. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. All right, okay, well, come on now. Is this really all that necessary? Ooh. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, some threat matches are no cakewalk, and they're so... British Bulldog, look at the power. And this is vintage right here. Running power slam. Will Davy Boy take advantage? There's two. He, no way, no way. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Snap pile right. Cover. Two. That's it. Like the door just got eliminated. He grabbed the ladder. This is either going to pay off or completely backfire. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Harley Race does not seem interested in competing right now. Using the elbow as a weapon, he turns it around. Tossed into the corner. Shoulder right to the midsection. Things went from bad to worse. Up on the top row. This part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. And race on the receiving end again. Bulldog certainly getting that. Here he goes for the win. Breaks the count. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Able to steal clear. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. He's taking this to the floor now. Taking this one back to the ring now. He got whipped into that corner. Gets him in position. This is not good. Bulldog picks him off the ropes. Power slam. That can finish race off. Two. And the win. Outlast the others in this triple threat match. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Here is your winner, the British Bulldog, TV Boy Smith. As exciting a triple threat match as we've had here in WWE in recent memory. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing victorious after that battle, gentlemen, beating one other superstar's no walk in the park, let alone two.
The heartbreak kid has arrived. Flashy and stylish as always. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Sensational Sherry from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Looks like Michaels is brimming with confidence, as usual. Shawn's an extraordinary competitor, and he knows it. He is the axis WWE spins on for a reason. I'm pretty sure you and Michaels are the only ones who really think that. The world doesn't actually revolve around HBK. Michaels carries himself like a winner because that's what he is. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. He still has to win this match here tonight. Well, as great as Michaels' brash attitude can be at times, he does have a knack for winning when it matters most. Here comes the king of hardcore, Terry Funk. And his opponent from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 247 pounds, Terry Funk. Terry Funk possesses a list of accolades a mile long. Let's talk about a former WWE Tag Team Champion, a multiple-time WCW United States Champion, and a multiple-time ECW Champion. Yeah, and don't forget, Corey, countless other titles all the way from Texas to Japan. This man has left a trail of barbed wire, weapons, and broken bodies in rings around the world. This match might end up at a local medical facility. Might. The only thing worse than being Shawn Michaels' opponent might be being his friend. Oh, give it a rest, Cole. Michaels knows when to trim the fat to take his career to the next level. Sometimes you just have to send your partner through a barbershop window to get there. If that's his baseline, I can't imagine the lengths the Heartbreak Kid will go. And shoulders are down. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. Ooh. Front face lock applied, suplex position. Way up high and down hard. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Shifts it back onto him. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Holy. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Knew what Terry had coming. Fast press! Fast press! Get fast press! You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. It's hard to pick just one thing that has made Shawn Michaels so successful over the years. That's just it, Cole. HBK is one of the most well-rounded superstars the WWE Universe has ever seen. He possesses exceptional speed, strength, athleticism, and charisma. He uses all of that and more in each and every match, and that's what makes him the showstopper. Oh, stomping away. Chop! Terry getting challenged there. Yeah, and Michaels looked far from washed up. Oh! Up the turnbuckles! What's he gonna do? High risk! HBK from the top with the elbow. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Oh, what is he? Oh, a fireball to the face.
the WWE Universe on their feet. The following is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 560 pounds. The Rude Warriors! The tag team division here has never been more competitive. Every team needs to deliver an emphatic message each week. up like this it's one that the locker room has wanted to see it's one that the wwe universe has wanted to see it's one that i've been waiting to see and it's about to go down There's the bell on this tag team match is now official. Two very talented teams here, but it takes more than just that to succeed as a tandem in WWE. You have to be completely in sync to rise to the top of this division. Timely counter by Anvil. Lariat, good lord. That was nasty. There is some power behind that punch. Again, great way to wear down your opponent. Counter, and now there's an opening. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, that was inventive. Oh! Oh, back elbow. Getting clubbed by the axe handle. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. He saw that one coming. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Running hip attack, what impact. Uh, Anvil got caught with a reversal. Piercing. Ripped in the hard way. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Placing them into the corner. And Anvil is taking control of this one. Anvil certainly has that look in his eyes. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Come on, big back body drop. He's struggling a bit here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, man. Ooh. Got face first. Gosh. Bam. Now, ah, trampling the opposition. Knee strike connects. Lands the knee. Boom. And Hart is channeling the energy of this crowd. Oh, strong knee connects. Excellent execution from Hitman. Brett came with a game plan, and he's executing it. Uh-oh. Oh, 
what a counter. He's able to take a stand there. Yeah, his instincts are taking over. Into a power slam. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Able to avoid there. Face buster. Oh my God. Tag in. He's been placed in the corner now. Monkey flip. Caught with that sharp elbow. Monkey flip. Now he's been put on the defensive. Solid results on that one for Hitman. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Tremendous power. A nice power slam. Anvil has this wrapped up. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. He's tagging out. And he barely evades. with a right forearm. Hart wasting no motion on the counter. A stalemate of counters. Hart gets out of there. Lands a body shot. Quick reaction to Hart there. Oh, look at the power. Dump them to the floor. Look out. All the way to the outside. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. A oh, torturous knee. The hit. Uh-oh. Oh, he oh, knew what was coming. Here's a cover. Could be it. A kick out at only one. He's still got more left in the tank. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Carefully measured knee drop. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Just a surgical approach we're seeing from Hart. Hitman working the competition down. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. That's a good tag. tag made here. Yeah, double team action on the way. Quick across the ring. What a tag. Red can clinch this. The cover. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. with these two superstars. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship! Oh, guys, what an incredible treat! <laughs>
Piper can get in anybody's head. You're absolutely right about that, Cole. This man didn't just change the questions. He rewrote the entire script. Hot Rod is always ready for a fight. The rowdy one, the master manipulator. The man who changed the game. And he rocks a kilt pretty well, too. Every Hulkamaniac secretly liked the hot rod. I know you did, Byron. I admit it. I had a soft spot for Roddy Piper. The greatest of all time is here, yet yeah, that self-proclaimed greatest of all time. This is a showman in a class by himself. But you can always count on hockey to take shortcuts, take the low road. Well, it has worked out for him. One of the longest reigning intercontinental champions in history. My sources tell me that after tonight's victory, we're going to be treated to a VIP concert. Hockey Tonk Man, just the classics. Lucky. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper! And his opponent from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Honky Tonk Man! You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. We got the bell and we got the Honky Talk Man. Honky Talk's never without his guitar and his overabundance of confidence. Take away the sequin suits and live musical performances. Honky Talk Man's a ruthless competitor who will find any corner to cut. Honky Talk Man couldn't care less about his opponent. For him, it's all about the money and the music. That's all well and good, Cole, but he's got to face off against the legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. Not a competitor known for taking his chance. Got the pen to retain. And the referee stops the count before two. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Yikes. Strong right forearm. He's turning the tables. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. Placed in the corner. Oh, an overhand punch. Oh, what a forearm. The challenger's looking shaken. Right to the jaw. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Oh, my lord. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Oh, a knee. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Breaks the count at two. He thought he had it. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. An agile escape. Knee strike. The official stepped in and put an end to that real quick. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Elbow drop. 
piercing. Jarring impact. Honky Tonk cuts him off. He steers clear of contact. Get his press! Roddy Piper has become relentless. Honky Tonk Man has got to find his spot and take advantage. Waist lock applied, countered into a nice arm drag. And he gets. From the top, double axe handle connects. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. All right, fights Hockey Talk Man back. Force the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Jeez. Snapmare and drops the fist. Honky Tonk Man making it loud and clear for his opponent tonight. Fist drop. This is bad. Hot Rod is bleeding. And Honky Tonk Man could be wasting time playing to the crowd. Vicious right forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Piper dodges that one. Oh, close line. Action taken right to Honky Top Man there. Got it scouted. On the line. And a cover by the champ. A kick out to stay alive. Not yet. Evades the attack. Face scrub. Nasty. Piper making clear he has his number. Ooh. Broken up with a fist to the face. Executed hip toss. And a message sent there, letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Gets him with the counter. Shoulder tackle in the corner. So ruthless. With a championship on the line. Stopping the refs counted too. So, so close. That could have been it. Roddy Piper always knows how to get a reaction from his audience. Champion into the cover. He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pin. And Roddy Piper looking to hype himself up here. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Big forearm. And he sends him into the corner. Ooh, stiff punch. Ronnie Bulldog. Cover for the championship. A oh, close call makes the champ nervous. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time.
Piper might have something big on tap. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. Or hearing a... And breaks out of the sleeper. You can see it in these superstars. Inside cradle. Oh, look at this small package. No, title still hangs in the balance. Good Lord, scarily close to three. First drop. Tall man getting the crowd riled up right now. Oh! From the middle rope, drives down the fist from the middle rope. Cover! Two powers out. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Boom! Oh. He's able to fend off the attack. Great job, Reef. Champ looking to end this. that one. Bang it back with their own counter. There was some power behind that punch. Oh, using the top rope as an advantage. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. The Honky Tonk Man getting the crowd riled up right now. Honky Tonk Man, shake, rattle, and roll! Swinging neck breaker! Looks like the champ is going to retain. Shoulders down. The champion retains. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Honky Tonk Man. Big win as he retains the championship. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance. Here comes the Macho King. The cream of the crop has arrived. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Macho King, Randy Savage. Already such a story career for Savage, a world champion, multiple WrestleMania main events. But now he is our devoted ruler, and it is good to be the Macho King. I can't wait to see a royal elbow drop. Agreed. Uh, he may be pompous, but he's still fun to watch. The feeling in this building is electric. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 275 pounds, the awesome warrior. Sprinted his way to the top of the mountain. Always looking for fast, decisive victories. He's held the WWE Championship, also a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion.
There is no containing or denying the ultimate warrior. There it is, the steel cage. The unforgiving structure is made to keep the outside interference out and all the action between the competitors in. Nowhere to hide. These superstars just have to fight it all out in the confines of the cage. And this crowd... Oh, bear hug. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Oh. Boom. Lifting their opponent back to their feet and up. Oh my! Discus punch! And more action like that might allow Macho to get the job done. A lot of hatred has led to this steel cage match. Corey, is that enough to propel one of these superstars to victory? Simply, no, it's not, Cole. You have to be firing on all cylinders to win a cage match. Running on disdain alone is not enough. Ooh, well-placed kick. Cranking the arm. Continued punishment. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Connects on the kick. Ah, claw to the face. Ripping at the eyes. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I said. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Lost in between the cage and ropes. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Oh, he retaliates. Oh, my goodness, launched into the cage. Oof. Stiff. Cinching in the arm ringer, but well, that changed. Look at this going counter for counter. Stops the attack from Warrior. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. Wild driver! Ooh! Kick! Ooh! Strong kick! My goodness! Elbow drop! Piercing! Nasty one right to the chest! And just look at the bloody mess Warrior's face is turning into. Tag with a punch. What a punch. Ultimate Warrior running out of gas. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. The Ultimate Warrior is going to need to draw in the strength of his Warriors to stay in this. Great strength being 
being shown here. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. The sprint up the cage is on. Oh! Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. To the sky. Ooh! And Warrior moves. There to a Spanish fly! He's making his way up the side of the cage. From the top row. No, that might end Warriors' chances. There's two. Oh no, my, that was close. I can't believe it. The Warrior tapped into something otherworldly to kick out just then. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Scoop slam, making it look easy. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. Here is your winner, the Macho King, Randy Savage. Broken, beaten, and scarred, but there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage. The Ultimate Warrior was defeated tonight, but you can bet he'll be back with a vengeance. Seven feet, four inches, 500 plus pounds, more than just tipping the scales. Yeah, towering and dominating the competition with impressive ease. Well, there is a massive obstacle in the way of anyone who stands across the ring from Andre the Giant.
not your normal opponent, Andre the Giant. I have no idea how you would go to battle with this guy. A truly awesome figure to behold. A seemingly unstoppable superstar. And a man who always eats his vitamins and says his prayers. never seen someone get a crowd this riled up. Managed to unite the WWE Universe behind him. Well, Hogan's definitely winning the popularity contest, but let's see if he can win this fight. Uh, is it just me, or is anyone else expecting him to be completely pulverized by Andre the Giant? I agree with you, Saxon. There's no way to truly prepare for Andre. Introducing the challenger from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the WWE Heavyweight Champion, the Immortal H Hogan! The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. has been said about Andre's physical attributes, but I'd also like to call out his ferocious determination inside the ring. That's a great point, Cole. Andre's incredible stature didn't automatically earn him a nearly 15-year-long undefeated streak. He fought hard to make that jaw-dropping stat a reality. Just another reason he's one of the most intimidating competitors that WWE has ever seen. I'm sure he's as committed to winning as ever in this match here tonight. And staring him down from across the ring, Hulk Hogan, one of the biggest names to ever walk through WWE. The vitamin eating prayer saying Hogan has been a part of some of the biggest matches in history. We'll see if he makes history again here tonight. Hogan out of the way in time. Big reversal from the Hulkster. Down to Bowden and a double axe handle smash. He was elusive there. Getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Whoa. Close fist connects. Corey, some people might think Hulk Hogan's moves come from a shallow bag. Do you think that'll have a negative impact tonight? Uh, Hogan might stick to his classic moves, but his timing is something that can be very unpredictable. If he can deploy his attacks in an unconventional manner, he should be able to top his opponent here. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Now that's the kind of offense that opens people's eyes to the Hulkster. Dominating shoulder tackle. 
delivers an axe handle. And that one misses the mark. Shoulder tackle. Oh, God, knee meets face. Ah, oh, jeez. What a close line. Ouch. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. trouble right now. Ken Hogan. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Big boot. Jeez. Come on the challenger. And he kicks out at two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Ooh. Continues to survive. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Drives a foot into the stomach. into the ring. Oh! He must have had that scouted. Tackles ruthless. Hip drop. That's one of the reasons the giant... For the title! Kick out at two from the champion. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Oh, no. Andre. Oh. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm Cover. has shifted. Turn around. The pin. The referee is missing the pin. Use 
uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Dominating shoulder tackle. Hogan off the ropes. Atomic leg drop. But champions need to finish the job. That's got to be it. Two. Kick out. The whole lives on. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every pour. Hogan's got to be looking deep in himself, asking what will it take to get the Hulkster with a body slam. We know what comes next. The leg drop. A championship level move. Cover. Three, Retains the title. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one.